You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. The sell-off of the US dollar, significant growth in key stock indexes and gold all this indicates that the Fed has met investors' expectations. Comments on the last decision on the key interest rate of the Federal Reserve this year had a strong impact on the market. After all, the American regulator confirmed the change in the course of monetary policy from hawkish to dovish, which is a very good signal for stock indices and bearish for the US dollar. Given all this, it is important to closely monitor incoming macroeconomic statistics from the United States. The absence of obvious signs of weakening in the world's largest economy will allow stock indexes to continue to grow. But this is an unlikely scenario, because in order to reduce inflation, it is simply necessary to slow down the economy. A weak economy will contribute to a slowdown in inflation, which in turn will push the Federal Reserve to lower the key interest rate. This is a key tool for reducing government bond yields, which in turn will push gold up. At the moment, I will highlight the key obstacle in the way of buyers. This is the technical resistance level at $2,040 per ounce. But an additional bullish fundamental factor is needed to develop a more powerful growth wave. After all, a breakthrough of the marked barrier will indicate the willingness of buyers to break above the historical maximum again. Returning to the US dollar, let's pay attention to the completion of the corrective wave of growth. After all, the prospect of a reduction in the Fed's key interest rate is already reducing interest in debt instruments in this currency. After all, it's no secret that the US dollar remains highly overvalued. For this reason, investors are starting to pay attention to undervalued currencies, ignoring the interest income of the US dollar. For example, the US dollar to Japanese yen currency pair is trading above the current year's low by more than 12% and more than 26% above the 2022 low. Even half of this reduction potential will bring more profit than the fixed income of US government bonds. It is for this reason that the Fed's long-term plans already have a significant impact on financial markets. Also, the cryptocurrency market could not ignore the Fed's forecast, indicating the potential for monetary policy easing. Nevertheless, it is important to remember the main reason for the strengthening of Bitcoin, and it has nothing to do with the change in the interest rate by the American regulator. The general increase in interest and risk will contribute to the growth of cryptocurrencies, but only the approval of applications for the creation of Bitcoin ETFs can keep the market from developing a more powerful wave of decline. Thus, it is too early to talk about a trend change from bullish to bearish, but buyers are walking on thin ice, and they understand this. After all, even without a good reason, there was a 10% collapse of Bitcoin. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.